Hi everyone, Zoltan here and this time I want to show you a large retro PC uh, collection. I will show you some old non x86 uh, computers and also Pentium 1s, Pentium 2s and even older computers and after I will show you a very large 200 or more uh, uh, items in a CPU collection and also some uh, CPU overclocking and uh, retro video games and uh, uh, PC game boxes from the 90s so I won't talk too much this time I think um, because there is really noisy so just please enjoy and if you spot some nice computers just tell me in the comment section so let's start So these are uh, Sega computers, some nice details about the 286 CPU, but yeah, I mentioned I won't talk too much, so let's take a look. Wow, it's really nice. I think it's a portable computer, so you can just hold this box, bring it somewhere and play stuff. <laughs> I guess 1 MB of RAM, <laughs> 10 MB of CPU, so maybe not too much, but these uh, computers are uh, working and you can test some of them. Okay, let's see the other section here where you see more modern uh, computers, 286, uh, yeah, 1 MB of RAM. Uh, same age, but these are personal computers, not uh, portable ones. So, yeah, basically, that is really old CRT uh, monitors here. And there is also a TV there um, with uh, only four colors, but if you can see it uh, with some diversification in the colors, uh, they can output more than just the four. Or at least the look of it. I think it's a uh, Doom, or no, it's Quick. It's the original Quick game here uh, with no 3D acceleration, uh, really pixelated. But yeah, it runs really smooth. I hope I will find a Woody card or something, and I will be able to show you uh, the differences. Uh, S3 Word. So yeah, maybe some solutions there. Um, yeah. Nice as well. And uh, this is the original Doom, I guess. Yeah, real smooth as well. Uh, it's one of the latest uh, levels. So let's move forward. Uh, Windows uh, 98 computer, I guess. Mm, yeah, these are uh, AMD 100. 33 and even more <coughs> uh, Windows uh, 3.1 and 3.11 installed here in the mode. You see, I could spend uh, weeks here. Yeah. So, yeah, let's move forward. These are some newer machines here playing Far Cry and also Unreal Tournament here. Yeah, this is uh, Windows XP already, and uh, Pantheon 3, oh, it's a really nice one, I think it's quality because it's 1.2 GHz and the GeForce to go, so yeah, it's a, it's a little computer. Now this line is all about the uh, Pantheon 2s and uh, later AMDs, oh, all these are really nice ones. Uh, Pentium MLX CPU here, 64 megabytes of RAM. And yeah, it's oh, it's running laggy a bit, but <laughs> I can't even play it right. So, what's the movie? Oh yeah, that's good. so some buttons are stuck here, but it's uh, going well. And here you can see uh, CPU overclock there. Uh, I think it's an AMD board, uh, PC Express. Uh, 7900 uh, GO, um, right, and other pieces as well. So, yeah, pretty nice. Um, and here is a pinball game in this uh, old 
40 megahertz machine, 32 megabytes of RAM. It's awesome, and um, the game is monochrome. I think it's because of the graphics card, which is a T-Sync ET4000. Uh, uh, but this display is uh, actually a newer one. Um, <coughs> Really nice uh, as well. So I will put here a little cut in the video and I move uh, to the CPUs. Okay, we are back here with some uh, CPUs. I can spot some uh, AMD CPUs here with uh, dual fans and also the slot one Pentium 2s here. Uh, as you can see, with some really decent cooling there. Also, these are something that's unknown to me. Uh, Intel CPU, we're not sure. These uh, CPUs, or some of them, are uh, much older than than me. And uh, I was really young when these were around. I could spend a lot of time watching these, figuring out uh, what these CPUs actually are, why they are packaged to in this uh, circuit board and how they actually used it. Um, wow, it's a Pentium 3 Xeon and is it an actual CPU but with this uh, really strange connection? Well, wow, it's a bit something. So, yeah, Pentium 2's Intel Pro CPUs these are really large one, like this new Intel, I don't know, 10 or more core CPU or the Ryzen Epic and, and so on. Um, yeah, really nice, really nice. Pentium Pro's also uh, AMD CPUs here and yeah, Intel. Uh, Pentium 3's, I think this is just a socket. 768 maybe? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a 478. Um, also some EMD CPUs here and uh, Cyrix CPUs. I never really use any of these, uh, but they are really nice. Uh, 486 CPUs, 386 and uh, 286 CPUs as well. And these are something I have never seen. Uh, AMD K6. You, you might notice. Actually, I never used AMD, just Intel fan from the Pentium 1 and both. Yeah, sorry, CPUs as well. And some Intel Pentiums, Intel Pentium Anomix CPUs, and all the ones like these chips, <laughs> like memory modules or something. Um, but these are um, CPUs and this little i386 board <laughs> as well. Well, wow, it's, it's cool. So, um, this is the retro PC uh, uh, party, uh, whatever, uh, where we are in Hungary, Fule. Um, yeah, these are more than 200 CPUs, actually. Uh, beautiful cool action. And one other look at the whole place as you can see so yeah cut here as well and then we will move to the games I guess okay before the game section just uh, take a look at these computers as well this is a school computer the HD 1080Z with a tape cassette recorder uh, <laughs> and also here you will see some of the Spectrum Plus computers as well. I tried this uh, joystick here, but these are just really uh, ancient machines for me. What? They are super cool. I think it's some kind of uh, vector graphics here for the RGB era. And this here. Uh, just something is enterprise machine as well. And these are the older. Commodore machines and C++ per four. Never know, but this is a very cool one, isn't it? Yeah, that's it's really playable actually. It looks like a Super Mario level, but uh, something 
different. Uh, really. Some Danda Commando here. And yeah. Mm. Okay, and also you can see some really awesome joysticks here. And Amiga computers as well. Called Dyna. This is also an Amiga detector joystick here. Yeah, and you will see some gameplay as well from the memory clone. And you can see the flickering because this is a. Uh, Pretty decent. So, yeah, these are new computers I uh, mentioned before. Sorry about this uh, quick uh, walking around again because, uh, yeah, we're in a bit of a hurry rush. Okay, so finally, we are here with these uh, 19s retro game collection with Half Life Counter Strike with these beautiful boxes. We are not seeing those anymore since you are downloading everything from Steam or GOG or whatever. And this is a metal box, I guess it's aluminium. Uh, Half Life 2 Collectors Edition. Most of this game, like Outcast, Spider Man, Shadowland. Uh, Land of the Lore, um, I didn't really know, know those games actually. Shadowland and Outcast, maybe I think I played Outcast before. Lost Vikings, uh, I just missed those games. But uh, Warcraft and Warcraft 2, I played those strategy games a lot. Um, these are really huge boxes, some of them are not even unpacked yet. So really decent collection. Also you can see uh, the StarCraft games here, different editions, um, the expansion pack for StarCraft, also Fallout here with this amazing box art. Uh, you can see also uh, Doom games and uh, Diablo 2 and the original Diablo. Some of them are these uh, Open the boxes, some of them not. I just don't want to uh, scratch them. Uh, Daikatana, never played it, but heard of it. Also, Dune and Dune 2 and Unreal Tournament. Uh, different editions, the Game of the Year edition and the original. And also Quake 3 Arena and Quake 3 uh, Team Arena. And you can see Dagger 4 here from the Elder Scrolls. And the original Carmageddon, Grand Theft Auto, Andy, and MDK and MDK 2 or so, and Heroes Games, uh, Age of Mage 2, I never used that. Age of Mage also was out of my spectrum. Uh, Dipnicum 3D, of course. Uh, Alien Trilogy, I haven't seen this box, I have played the Alien 2, maybe. And these are actually something I don't know yet, but the background look like a backlit disc. Uh, yeah, but this is a nice collection, really, really decent one. Okay guys, so actually we were able to play in this uh, 1080Z school computer. Uh, this is a classic game. Uh, I don't know the name of. But yeah, it's really quite well. And also, there is the Prima computer and the video tone uh, TV computer here. And this little girl playing the Morocco game, or at least trying. And yeah, so this is this retro PC party in Hungary. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video. I would be happier if I could make a longer version and speak about all of these computers but maybe as I acquire more and more retro machines uh, we'll be able to test those and play with them uh, later so thank you so much again for watching this video and if you enjoyed it uh, please like and subscribe it would mean a lot to me and thank you once again bye bye
बोला 